You see it? Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about now, Greg, is that this one's going to look really good and the other three are going to look complete dog shit. That's I the did only, tell you to wait for me, but no. That's the only you problem I've excited. got now. lads it's finally the day that I've stopped oh sorry Jess it's finally the day that I've stopped walking the walk and actually started talking the talk and I'm actually gonna paint my wheels I've got a purple in mind a lot of you may know what it is I'm pretty sure I just said I've got a purple in mind when I went to say I've got a color in mind well give it away the secret we all know it's fucking purple now my plan is because I've only got two jack stands to do two wheels at a time. I can't do anything else about it. Fuck it. So it's Wednesday night now and I've got Thursday off work so I'm going to do all day taking my time painting properly. So tonight I'm just standing them all down and trying to find a place to play because I've not got a paint booth. I've not even got a garage and my shed's full of shit and my guard's garage is full of shit. So I thought about getting a tent and putting it in the back garden but we can't find the tent. So I'm probably just going to find a place in the shed and like put like a plastic cover over the top so nothing can drop in. It's a lot of effort and the whole night until it gets dark sanding the wheels I'm not I can't paint I'm shit at painting I don't even know what grit to use I just know the lower is like a harsher grit and the higher is a less harsher grit so I started off at 240 I'm on 400 now I'm probably gonna go up to 800 and I think that'll do <laughs> right guys I completely scrapped the idea of doing this shed there simply would just not be enough space so then I have to turn around and think right I need somewhere kind of set it in the wind but mostly from the trees because all that shit drops in the, the fucking paint now don't laugh at me although you're probably gonna laugh i thought about what can i make so i made myself a little painting tent now hopefully it's actually not windy at all tomorrow i won't need this hopefully it won't be raining for fuck's sake touch wood mate but Now, not much wind, well less wind, but mainly protects it from the hole in that. This is my little painting booth. I've got a 360 around, they're both going to fit in nicely. Hope it all goes to plan, guys. It's the point of no return once I do this. I can't go back. Ah, oh, it doesn't feel nice. The old one. So that's 20 seconds away. Stop it. I've got to a point where I don't think I can sand much more. I can't really get in any of the crevices that I've not got into. So I'm going to give them a good clean. I've got some demon wheels here. I'm going to give them a good clean in this. Get them inside. Let them dry overnight. Well, completely dry overnight. Wake in the morning, give them a quick brush over my microfiber towel. And then a good start priming. Good morning, lads. It's very early. It's about half seven. So it's going to get an early start. Anyway, so the paint booth's set up. Cards are on the wheels. The primer's having a hot bath. More stability to the painting booth with a couple of windbreakers. I think we're all ready to go, lads. Got one primer. Okay, so I've done four coats of primer on each wheel. Now it's time for the purple. Okay, so we're three coats in. I'm having a lot of trouble with the wind. This is pissing me off. Big style. I've had to like tighten down about cable ties and those are gaffer tape. But it's still getting on my tits. The one day it seems to be windy. <sighs> oh, oh, fuck. Okay, so I don't know if four or five coats of the purple. Um, now I'm just letting the lacquer warm up. I'm going to do probably about three coats of lacquer just to get it shiny and glossy. 
Now I really want to put, I'm on the lacquer, I really want to put, I've put about two thick coats on now. I really want to do more than that, but this lacquer is spitting and it's getting to the point where it's, I could risk fucking it up. Like, can you see there? And there's a couple just over there. See, it's spitting. And I don't know what, to, it's, well, it's not that bad, it's in the clear coat, so there is a way of getting it out, but I, I'm thinking I might do one more coat of this, and if it's spitting bad, that's it. It looks like in the sunlight. I'm not sure how well it's gonna come off in the camera. This is with about four coats of primer, four or five coats of base coat, and about three or four coats of lacquer. Like. <laughs> so this is the final product. It looks so much better than black on black. I don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but it's actually like the flake and the pearl in the base coat is like fucking good, mate. When you look at it, you can see it all like flickering. Uh, it definitely looks better on person than it does on the camera. Now, in relation to the backs, uh, I wish I could do them all at the same time, but I only had two jacks on, so I couldn't. Now, I need some more paint. I use a lot of paint. I use about nearly a full tin of prime, nearly a full tin of primer on both wheels. Well, a full tin of 500 mil between both wheels, and then I use a, a, a 300 mil can each of base on each one. And I'm gonna get some new lacquer because I didn't like that lacquer. It kept spitting. It was pissing me off. I've got a mate at work who is good at painting, a lot better than me at painting. And he said he's gonna come and help me do the backs tomorrow. Uh, and he can bring his tent. He's got a big tent where he paints in and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to wait till they do then. But what I might do is I might just put a cheeky picture on Instagram of this. So you, people who do follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen it. I'm going to do that for now on. Instead of rushing to upload videos, I'm going to put teasers on Instagram. Get that bit that wants to show everyone, get that out. Uh, so go follow me on Instagram, put me on Instagram there. Right, boys and girls, we went, in, we went to get some more paint. I'm going to take the backs off, I'm going to start the backs. Uh, I'm an impatient prick and yeah, nothing else to say about that. Oh, here we go again. i got some... Uh... More coarse fine paper, uh, fine paper. More coarse sandpaper, just to rough them down a bit more than the other ones got. Okay, so I've moved shop. Uh, I fucked that off, uh, and I decided to go because it was getting way too windy. I decided to go in the shed, but the only downside with the shed is that I can only do one at a time. Uh, but at least now I've found somewhere that. Is away from the wind. So sorry, grass. Sorry about that, mate. Okay, so update, lads. I finished off that back wheel. It came out better in one respect and worse in another. Um, I didn't do a really good job of sanding, so you can still see like, like uh, scratch marks from the sandpaper. I know, I know. I'm shit at painting. I'm shit at sanding, but. The lacquer came out a lot better because I used new lacquer on the back one and it's come out a lot glossier than the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the front ones off tomorrow and give them a couple of coats of the new lacquer that I've got. And then also, I'm going to finish off my back wheel as well. So I'm supposed to wet sanding it all together? Yes. Ah, fuck, I didn't do that. Well, it's the next day, lads. We've got one more one more wheel left to do and I kind of fucked up with the other three in some, some way or another. So I brought in a little bit of an expert who knows a lot more about painting than I do. So, give me a lowdown of what I did wrong, Greg, and what so, we're going to do right today. Didn't sand it between layers. So what's happened is obviously when paint builds up, it creates almost a golf ball effect. It creates a dimpling. So per layer that you build up, if you sand it down using some 1200 wet and dry, it basically creates a nice clean layer. If you look at this one that's already been done, you can see that it's incredibly smooth. There's no dimples in and everything, and that's surely because it has been uh, used with wet and dry. 
this one's not bad, it's not really going to need any restoring or anything like that. It's not really any curb brush, someone knows how to drive, apparently. Well, this is my back one, so it'd be, it'd be good to have got curb brush on my back wheel, oh, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you never know though, do you? You never know. Uh, so literally all we're going to do is we're just going to take some of the lacquer off and the paint that's already on it, use a bit of 12 and wet and dry, prep it all up, and then we're going to primer it and get it ready for the uh, for colour, basically. Sound, mate. I think I've, I think I just went complete wrong at the other three wheels. Right. I just, I just, ate, I, I just yeah. 80 graded it for about an hour and then just sprayed over it. Right, well my fingers are fucked, so I'm gonna let you do most of the sound. Repping, repping, repping. Repping. Open car cruise. <laughs> so basically, this video's turned into uh, three ways on how not to spray a wheel and one way on how to spray a wheel. And we've already ran into our first difficulty. Well, not difficulty, but difference, because he's actually masking it where I just put them stupid little cue cars in which made my day a hell of a lot worse because the wind was basically just fucking my whole day up with them. So we don't exactly need to go through the lacquer before we start priming? Not at all. Um, what you want to do is sand it down to the extent where you can see it's starting to go grey now and you can feel that even though it was smooth anyway, it is incredibly smooth oh, now. Good. And what it does, it brings out... You can actually out... see where the lacquer's fading and yep. the black's coming through. You, you can see all the little imperfections, like this one here, you've got an imperfection there. There's one over here, you've got one there, there's a little dint here, there's another two chips here, and you won't see that until you actually sand it down. Um, but even like over here, like where it looked really clean, you can see that you can start to see all these imperfections. Now just by sanding it back, when you primer over it, if you primer enough layers onto it, it will fill it, because what you do is when you primer on it, it will fill that, and then when you sand it back, it will take every all the primer off apart from that little area, and that's how you get your perfect show finish when you're spraying basically. The only thing I'm worried about now Greg is that this one's going to look really good and the other three are going to look complete dog shit. That's I the did only... tell you to wait for me but no. That's the only problem I've excited. got now. I'm going to do this between each layer. Between each layer of paint we put on, well we're going to build up probably two layers of primer first just to make sure it's that extra little bit thicker and then what we're going to do is uh, do this between each layer and that will just make sure that it's completely smooth which obviously once we lacquer it and put the carbon purple on it just means that we're going to have that really nice glossy effect then um, Hopefully I lied not when too I said that we, do, we need 1200 though because we might need something a bit heavier to get rid of this uh, well, we've got 800. this is not, not curb rash no. Nah mate, we're gonna rock. Real came like that, what are you talking about? Definitely. Good brush, what's that? Do an unboxing because something's came. I've actually been needing to get one of these for a very, very long time. And I actually splashed out and got one. Well it's 20 quid, so I won't call it splashing out, but you know, to me that's splashing out. So Let's you're open not, you're it. Not even paying me that much. What am I paying you? Nothing. Well, look, wasn't it a Mac I'm Mackey's for you, mate? I'm oh, not yeah, paying you, I'm repping you. That's what it is. Sponsored Rapping. video, open <laughs> car <cruise. laughs> So what, what, what have you treat, treated yourself for today? I feel like a lad at Christmas, mate. Legs crossed and everything. Wait, what the fuck is this? Maybe that's not what we thought it was. What the fuck is that? LED torch? Unless that's free. Maybe it's free. Well, They're treat, one, treating you, aren't they? I'm a bit I did order an electric shaver, but hopefully it's not that. No, that's definitely a tripod. Here it is. Wait. Bagged up and everything. <laughs> So all we're doing now is we've gave it its final sand and we're literally degreasing it and prepping it ready for this paint now. So you'll see once we take when we take all this off, it'll all be grey now. There shouldn't be any black left on it. And that grey basically means that we took enough of the lacquer away to create a good grippy surface for the primer to paint, stick to. And then once we put the first two layers of primer on, with about 10 minutes between each one, we're going to give it a 1200 wet and dry down again just to get rid of any little imperfections and then it just keeps going on from there you just repeat the process until you're happy so we're just going to what we're just going to we're not going to blast it with the hose but we're just going to wipe it clean now yep. just going to wipe it clean see now the whole wheel has gone like almost a graphite gray color it now <laughs> means that it's completely smooth but it's also brought out any little imperfections But that's pretty much now already dry. dry. And that's because it's such a thin layer that it's literally all it is doing is acting as basically a glue. So this first bit's just gonna stick into all those little grooves from the sandpaper. And as you can see what that's been 30 seconds and it's it's bone dry already. Just wanna add as well, it'll be a lot it's a lot better using the masking tape because 
when you're coming down at an angles, you can yeah. proper get close with, with, with the touch with the key card. Oh, yeah. I, I I was almost limited to there, yeah. so the, uh, this will be a lot better. Cause I can actually get on the yeah. spokes with the paint. I'm three coats of primer, and I'm just standing back the infections that we can see. Very very lightly sanding it back there. You literally you what grip you got a 12 under though yeah yeah you don't like want to no put pressure. too much pressure on it it's literally just to scuff that edge so once again the uh the purple that we're going to put on has something to stick to so now the main difference is yeah. that like so if you this feel, feel this that's that's yeah. what my wheels felt like it. yesterday altogether so if you listen to this now you can hear the rub if i do it to this bit you can hear it's a bit more high pitch and it's got that smooth it should basically feel like it's pretty much glass already and just just by See, doing that very light sand it just means you've got that extra bit of grip to put it down onto i can already tell this is going to be 10 times better than the other ones i just hope it's not that different we have to redo the older ones <laughs> so do i to be fair <laughs> praying mate praying <laughs> so it's the last coat of prime we're just dusting up where we sanded to make sure it's all even is that right yeah we're literally just these little bits that we're gonna have to build a couple of coats up again on them and that's surely just from where we've had to sand down from any, any little stone chips or anything like that. And then once this bit's done now, give it a couple more minutes to dry. Normally 10 minutes between primer coats. Give it a slight sanding down again. Leave it for maybe 20 minutes, just that extra bit of time for the primer to set properly. And then we're going to go over it with the cabby purple and put a very thin base layer on. So basically all we're doing now is we've put the last coat of primer on. We've got rid of all the little imperfections and we're just giving it a very light wet and dry again and that's just going to take that slight roughness off. It's a 1200 grit is it? Yeah 1200 grit so once again it gives it the slight scratches which basically just means it's got a bit of grit for the paint to stick to but it also makes it incredibly smooth so any imperfections that we've got in the layer in between the primer it's just going to make it a very smooth surface. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the very same as what we did with the primer. It's all sanded down, it's all dried off. We're going to put a very, very light layer over it. And that's just to make sure, once again, that everything's sticking to it. So you, with, with this sort of colour you see, you, you want to build it up very, very gently. And what you always want to watch for is the likes of this. You can see what's happened now. It's just from where the spray's coming out a bit slower than usual. It's causing it to drip. So you always want to clean this off before carrying on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck who's joined us. <laughs> It actually yeah. just feels wrong, like it's such a nice thing and you're sanding it, like, why do this? <laughs> so very nicely, Greg has demonstrated how to, he's purposely uh, put a dob in the paint, uh, because it's a stupid fucking spray can, but we purposely did that, didn't we, Greg? Oh, of course we did. But uh, it's uh, basically what I was saying before about how it starts to drip. So we let it drip on, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you if it does happen, and you don't notice that it is starting to drip, how to get it off. What I'm doing now is I'm giving it a very light, wet and dry 1200 grit once again, all over the spokes, just to give it that glass feel. Ready for the last layer. Once the last coat's on, I'm going to give it one more very light, wet and dry, and then we're able to lacquer it after that. So, so just you, again, we're going to show you the the dot that we purposely put there, uh, just so we could show we'll you how to nice, get that off. E easy place. Just stressing that we purposely put that there. Of course. In fact, let me go to this tiny little piece here. And because it's a blob, it's actually sat on top of the paint. So it should just rub off. But the best thing to do is use your finger and you're going to very, very lightly sand it till it's smooth. And then using the last bit of the last coat, it will just cover it over nicely then. It's just very fine, very light scuffing so you can't feel it anymore. So you can't feel those little edges. Okay, it's going to take off a bit of the paint, but that's why you do this and make sure you do it before your last coat. Because once that last coat's on, if you run out of paint, you're going to have to buy a whole new tin just for this tiny weeny little blob. So I'm sitting here very, very nervously. <laughs> 
you feel it, you can feel that it's completely smooth. Oh, right. like, even though you can still see it, as long as you can't feel it, that's the difference. So when we put this next coat over, it's going to cover it over and you're not going to be able to see it at all then. A nervous face looks like. <laughs> a confident face looks like. Another nervous face looks like. Why are you sanding something so beautiful, mate? Because it's going to be even more beautiful by the time we're finished. Hopefully not. Have some faith. Have some faith. Hopefully not that beautiful where the other ones look the opposite to beautiful. We have to do them all again to make them look beautiful. We won't. I have faith in you, Lee. Oh, well. Hot and glad one person does. So there's last coat of purple. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's get it on the fucking car already. <laughs> Sick of looking at it on the fucking grass. It doesn't belong there. To get it in a fucking car. So how heavy are you putting it on here? Not very heavily. Not Literally really. just this first coat is just once again same as before. Just the very thing lightly. we're running into as well is that the other ones aren't as glossy as this. So we obviously want to. We know you're a great painter and that, but we we're more interested in matching them really, aren't we? So we're only going to put about one or two coats on. Otherwise, they will stand out too much against the other ones. And then we're gonna, then I'm, then you're gonna have to redo the other ones. It means I get more sausage sandwiches. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Greg's doing a fantastic job, <laughs> but the only thing I'm worried about now is that they're gonna look glossy. Now, I'm gonna stop him after this coat, just because I can't be after him the other ones again. He's basically just jealous that he can't do as good a job, pretty much. Yeah, that's definitely it, pretty much. Um, but I don't want my car looking silly. Now, is it is it right to say that you want to would like to do more coats than two? Yes, really. Yeah. Uh, See, now I just wish that I did that on the other ones because I really like shiny wheels where it looks like they're wet. Um, and I think after two more, it, it would get to the point where they do look wet. But for the sake of Greg's ego and my car, I'm probably going to go with my car here and actually stop him there because otherwise it's just going to look stupid. You can properly see the fleck in it now, though. I have to put my light on the phone. You can see the colour coming out. Yeah, they're already a lot. Well, already they are ten times better than what I did. <laughs> For fuck's sake. But hopefully, I'm going to put them up against the other ones. Not hopefully, not that much of a difference. Uh, this, the ones already on there now are a lot different. Yeah. Because the front ones are, I use shit lacquer. Well, I'm just hoping it's not that noticeable. It shouldn't be too bad. There's nothing that a bit of a touch up can't do. We've still got a bit of lack of that. Third of a tin. Right, okay. So it should be enough just to touch up if so, we need to. Yeah, so we'll let that dry, measure up against the other one. Um and then if needs be, get the other ones off and then sand it back a little bit and put more lacquer on, but hopefully they blend in. Oh, oh, oh mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> you little fucker. There is the finished piece. As you can see by the. Right, we're going to roll it outside. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and compare this. The ones Lee did. Let's go. Great. Wait. So here we have the final piece. You can see the lacquer's dried now. You can still see all the fleck in it. And this is in comparison how to do your wheels. Well, I have drove how, around on it and they're a little bit dirty. Not to do your wheels. But you can see the, the colour difference. So what do we think? Just didn't have the right tools enough. Didn't have the right tools, didn't have the right wind. Sorry, I was, I was just getting distracted by the, <laughs> the beast in the background, but sorry, carry on. Sorry mate, sorry, sorry <laughs> mate. You, 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 you rep as you want to rep. Right, let's bang them back on. Let's see a difference, if you can actually tell, because I'm a bit worried now to be honest. So there was a massive difference in the back one and the front one, and it was, to be fair, I just cleaned the front wheel and the lack started coming off, so I clearly didn't put enough fucking coats on. So we'll just sand it down now, we're going to give it a few, few, what, about two or three? Maybe about one? Uh, one about, or two, it's literally about just two wet the coats of lacquer. Final coat, and that's literally just to give it that gloss shine. Because the colour's off, alright, I did the base coat, not too bad, but it kind of makes it 
the shine in it makes it a lot brighter. Uh, and as Greg said, a lot bolder. So we're just going to hopefully this comes out all right. I didn't think you could personally do this. Once you, once it's dried, I thought it was that's it and done. Do you know what I mean? Anything you can go back and ed you edit. You never go wrong with some water and wet and dry. Well, Especially not 1200 grit. I always thought I, I didn't even use fucking wet, so I just scratched on the wheel basically. Basically, yeah. Basically. We're probably going to lead the other side because I did both wheels on the other side. The other side looked. They kind of look the same anyway, so matching. I don't know. Yeah, they look, they look matching. See what you, what me and you did is that you're doing like four different sprays over the same, over the same uh, yeah. place. So that's all I did that's two. Hard. Literally, I went psh, psh, and that was it. Now, what we need to do is when you're building it up, like if I do this, you can see it's quite matte, and then just by that one extra spray, it just puts like it almost looks like it's covered in water, which obviously is the. See what you're doing now as well. I got well because obviously they're not flat bits. And I thought it's gonna fucking run. Yeah. 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 If, if you, you do the do. Uh, if you do the face first, it just obviously means then you've got that that piece of lacquer already stuck on there. Oh, so um, you do the, the top first and then you do the spots once that's dry. Because the, the, this bit, the face, is what really you want the most on because that's the bit that's going to be open to the elements the most from stone chips, gravel, grit, whatever. Um, the inside bits don't tend to get as much abuse. Um, so basically, if you spray the top first and do a nice flat level, then once that's dried for after a few minutes, you do all the sides, and then once that's dried, oh, you go around. So you let you let the top dry a bit more because yeah. if, if you go to do the sides yeah, while the top's great. wet, then it will run. Yeah, because obviously, as you saw, it puts like a, a layer on top, which is obviously literally just a, a, a layer of liquid, pretty much. Um, and then what happens is when you do the sides, if that's still wet, yeah. the overspray from the sides goes onto the top. At which point it will then just drip down. You know what I'm going to want you to do after this. The other two. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, will, they will be absolutely fine, I promise. <laughs> well, yeah, but the, the problem I'm going to run into now is if someone asks for a picture, I'm going to have to park my car on the right yeah, side. Yeah, every, every car has its better side. Well, yeah, my, but my side's the same. Car, really, so. Can't take seriously sitting on, on a pink trampoline. Sorry, know. mate. That's so nice. That's what they came out as. <coughs> Back one's better, but yeah, the that one is a lot better. The car's really dirty, so it's not actually doing it justice at the minute. Stay tuned. Yeah. So with Greg's help, we've actually got one wheel really good. Three were shit, but we made one look a little bit better. But I know how to do it now, so I can take the other two off in the meantime and get them done because go show me how to do it well thanks a lot yeah, mate no, it's all right last thing big shout out to the open car cruise follow us on facebook peace what is the facebook what is the facebook it's open car cruise on facebook that is literally it and i'll also put greg's back. instagram there as well oh sorry mate still repping and put your <laughs> motto down the side so and Lewis loves it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Carmod, sorry, don't copyright me. <laughs> so that's the end of the video, guys. I don't know how long it's going to be. I've got about three hours of uh, footage to trim down to about 10 minutes, so it's kind of like overwriting an essay and you don't know what to cut out because you feel like a lot of it's relevant. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Till I broke the rules